up, y'all? It's Brie Renee, straight from the A. I'm with 85 South with Backwoods Backstage, One Music Fest, and I'm sitting here with Jazzy. How you feeling? Man, I feel great, man. If, man, if y'all don't know, festival. Jazzy is a phenomenal songwriter, artist now, and you work with some of the biggest in the game, mm -hmm. like Mary, Summer Walker, Lotto, yeah. Lil Bay. Like, her pen is crazy. Yeah. But now you... Uh, in, but uh, right now... Let's talk about this, this R&B that I'm bringing back. You know what I'm saying? Good R&B. I'm so happy to be on this stage, man. My first festival in the A. That's what I was about to say. Now you that's, on a stage being an artist. That's How that feel to see that transition in your career? Mm, it's um, it's so dope because I just feel like the people that support me, like they really, like grassroots fans. Like I'm really building like people that's like seen the evolution of Jazzy. When I used to have big hair, I used to be a little chubby. You know what I'm saying? They seen all since I was like a legit, you know what I'm saying? So to so like really be here, actually like building my fan base from the ground up and seeing like the stage, that shit amazing, you know what I'm saying? Cause ain't nothing been given to me. All of this is like, I've been having to get everything out the mud. So it feel better when you get it out the mud. Yeah, so, yeah. Right, I'm like, now you hitting the stage at That's one a nice music setup. thing. Thank you. Shout out to 85 South and Backwoods. No, but now you're hitting the stage at a huge festival in Atlanta, huge. a major city. Huge. Like, how did that crowd feel when you touched, like, what that moment felt like when you first touched the stage? No, they really, they were showing me so much love. And then um, when, I, when, I, when I sang It Belongs to You on Diddy's album, Love Album, um, they just were singing it, like, back to me, just, just to get the, inter the inter interaction with everybody. It was dope. I really was trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? Stay focused. I want y'all to look in nobody's eyes. As soon as you look in the wrong person's eye, you be like, ah. It throw you out. <laughs> be like, the nigga ain't clapping. Like, damn, bro, clap. Yeah, it's like, smile, vibe out. Yeah, like, what? So I was trying to just keep everything, just like, like, everybody just, you know what I'm saying? Taking it all in. Yeah. That's lit. And you definitely, like, your music is a vibe. You set the vibe. I know you set it on stage. And you create that. But how do you create the vibe for you to even provide that vibe before going on stage? I don't even know what's so funny. Like, I be having so many, like, sisters and, and homies that everywhere I go, mm -hmm. and they, be, they just be wanting to, like, be around me before the show. And, like, I be needing, I be needing, like, 30 minutes to buy my, to myself. Like, I'm such a people person, but I'm, a, I'm really a, I'm really a introvert. You know what I'm saying? So I be needing, man, like, give me 30 minutes, 35 minutes to be to myself. Let me talk to myself. Let me talk to Jesus. Like, let me get my life, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me get right. And then I can, like, go out and, like, pour. But I need to pour into me for a minute. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely. So I be needing a moment to get away from niggas. I ain't going to lie to you. So I'm learning, like, I need about 35. Right. Give me, give me 35 right 30, 35. Good. Yeah. That's all I need. During that time, do you, like, you know, pull up, roll up? Uh, nah, I don't smoke before I, I sing. Okay. Nah, that's out the window. Now I'm about to blow. Afterwards, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I need some backwoods, 85 South. Let's see, right. I ain't playing with y'all. So you said the vibe after you done hit the stage, tore it up. Then you come backstage. Now you like, I can vibe out with my people. Yeah. I can pull, I can roll up. Yeah, I sure. can get in the mood. That's now I'm looking for the parties tonight. You hear? Oh yeah, well you know we got it right here. But <laughs> I know you know we got a party right here. But you know it's gonna be a lot of dope artists out here this weekend. You looking forward to seeing anybody? Janet Jackson. Absolutely, That's right. It. Like, all these, all these artists is like my peers. I love them. You know what I'm saying? Tink, I, I never met Tink. We've been texting. So I can't wait to, like, actually look at her face and be like, thank you for everything that you've done for, for R&B. I can't wait to have that one-on-one -on -one with Tink. Cause That's dope. That woman is special. She's been special. She ain't never not been special. Those niggas just waking up. So, like, Tink. Um, but Janet Jackson, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. The Dream performing, I would like to see him perform because I just love the Dream. You know what I'm yeah. saying? How he how he went from a songwriter to an artist. You know, he like some him and Missy like the two people that I looked up to, how they did it. So yeah. Absolutely. I think the dream performance is gonna be lit too. I can't wait to see that. You know what song he performed? I gotta check the schedule. It's so many people. I'm trying to keep up with all y'all. I gotta check. Did you you know I was headed over there to your stage right before you went on. I ain't make it. I'm like trying to get over there, you know? Oh my god. I, can't, I was supposed to bring you out. <laughs> oh, you well, your homegirl yeah, brought me out. Yeah, Shout out to we my sister, bring you out. Bro. Yeah. I love you. Shout out to black girl stuff. Black but girl yeah. stuff. I love so y'all. What you bump into now? Like, what's your favorite song right now? Besides, of course, one of your songs off of Songs for, Wh songs for Women and Free My Game for Niggas. My favorite song right now? What's your favorite song right now? 
Uh, hey, let me look. Let me look. It can, I mean, I ain't gonna front. I mean, what I've really been listening to, I ain't gonna front. Like my favorite song right now, can, can it be? Can it be old? Cause I've been it playing. Can. Whatever you've been listening to. I've been playing a lot of old shit. Like I, I just found this song on. Uh, I just found this joint. Uh, this joint called. It's called Round and Round by High Tech. But it was a song that was on How High. Okay. I really don't know what you came in for. Round and round you go. Yes. Like, and I, I found it one time. I was like, yo, this shit crazy. And I started, I started playing it nonstop. So I've been playing High Tech Round and Round, like, nonstop. You know what I'm saying? Because I just found it, so. That's a good, but that's yeah. what I love about music yeah. and hip hop. It's like, no matter how old or how um, far back a song yeah. may be from, you can still fall in love with no. it at any time, if it's good music. That's, if it's I used good to love, music. I used to love How High, but I never knew what that song was. It just played a little bit in the in the joint, and I found that, sh it just was on the, I was like, oh, this shit crazy, so. Yeah. I've been listening to that. Speaking of, it's 50 years of hip hop, and it's 50 years of Backwoods, too. Damn, Backwoods been out that long? Backwoods been out 50 years. We've been rolling for a long time now. But in that time, what are some of your favorite moments with hip-hop or Backwoods? Hey, you want me to tell you some funny about Backwoods? I didn't know nothing about Woods until, I, until like 2013 when I moved to uh, Miami. Okay. When a Florida nigga put me on, on Woods because I'm from <laughs> Memphis. And, and we smoked Swishers and we smoked White Owls. Okay. We wasn't on Backwoods. Backwoods is new for Memphis niggas. And if niggas want to tell you something different, it's Cal. You like, they lying. They lying. Niggas right. was not, I ain't know no niggas in Memphis smoking Backwoods. Niggas was smoking White Owls uh, and Swishers, bro. So I learned, and, or, back, or Black and Miles. Well, know? we got to come to Memphis to put them on then. No, we on now. Okay, y'all Oh, no, everybody's smoking Woods now. But like, when I went to, when I went to Miami, I was with Timberland. I was, I remember we was in, um, I was on a tour bus with Timberland. I had just met Missy Elliott that night. And literally, my boy Mizzle, he was Timberland's producer, he rolling up a wood, and I was like, and I smoked, and I was like, damn, what is this? I promise you, and I, I, I'm gonna forever remember that story, 2013, my first wood. Period. Yeah, funny. I love that, that's your first wood, that's that my good. first wood, 2013. Yeah. You got any favorite moments of hip hop or memories of hip hop? I, man, oh my gosh, I think, just watching music videos as a kid, like, Music like 106 and Park, like watching music videos. Yeah. Like, that's that's like I just really I remember the first time I saw Lupe Fiasco kick push video and like I remember that was so different for me because being from Memphis, I ain't never seen no black skaters, like skateboarders. Like, right. and, like that was not and, and watching that quick kick push video and I was like, Oh, this is hard and it introduced me to another sound of music that wasn't so like, you know, like gutter, so you know what I'm saying? It was like, I guess backpack music. I don't know what they called it, but like, yeah. I remember like Lupe Fiasco kick push, and then after that, I fell in love with like, like the Cool album, and then Slum Billet. I, I was really like a different kid. I was trying to listen to the shit that, if it wasn't Three Six Mafia, I was listening to stuff that was like different. Yeah. Like like Slum Village, like Kanye, like that Kanye vibe. That like you said, backpack. Backpack. Yeah. Hip hop, but that's what I yeah. love about hip hop. It really reaches us as Black people wherever we are and whatever your interests are. Yeah. Whether it's alternative R and B or yeah. backpack rap yeah. or you know what I mean, pimping music. It's facts. some. It's a sub genre for everybody and anybody. It was. Nah, and, facts. and and you are like one of the I say leaders in in um, alternative R and B right now. Thank you. And who has like influenced you in that genre of hip hop? Of hip hop or R&B? Of alternative R&B. Missy Elliott. Missy okay. Elliott is, is influential. Mary J. Blige, cause she was hip hop soul. Like she brought she brought edge to R&B. So it was like she did. It, she brought that street to R&B. She brought street to R&B in, yeah. in a sexy way too. Jodeci, you know, like I ain't go front. Also, immature. I loved immature. Like IMX. Yeah. Like I was a kid listening to immature, and like I don't care like. Batman and Romeo, Little Drummer, LDB, like, they was cool, they was weird, they was very, like, damn near gay, but, like, straight. Like, yeah, they yeah. was very girly girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, perms and, like, you know what I'm saying? And, right. Like, but they was cool, hip-hop, and then B2K, like, all of that stuff was kind of hip-hop, but still R&B, like, yeah, all of that. Kinda, they were singing, but it was hip-hop for It was sure. still cool, yeah. So, yeah. I love all that, so that it was just part of me. Now, speaking of them, like, you know, blurring the lines, of the genre, you know, with R&B. I like you, your little hand movement. You know what I'm saying? 
you, um, your new EP, Songs for Women and yeah. Free Games for Niggas. Yeah. What's some of the free game you dropping on the album, on the EP? Um, some of the free game, I think I told y'all one of the free games that's really important. Uh, another free game is just being able to listen, just listening. I think it sounds easy. That's the hardest thing to really do when you upset. Or when you like busy, it's it's listening to your girl, listening to her, and even like paying attention to her little, you know, like paying attention to her energy. Her little ways, like every time yeah. she stick her face, her tooth yeah. out like that, she mad, like mm. yeah. And then know, she know what's up. Yeah, and then she say, and she say nothing wrong, something's wrong, like get it out of her, like don't let it, don't let it fest up overnight. You know what I'm saying? That's that's good. What's a good way? What free game would you give to the fellas about apologizing? Because like you said, if she mad, don't let it fester. You got to try to make it right. Yeah, I, I I was just talking to my homies. I hate apologies. Okay. I think, don't apologize to me, bro. I hate apologies. Like, nigga, find a solution. Like, don't... Just fix it. Don't fix it. Like, like before you even, before I even mess, if I mess up, if I mess up on somehow with, with somebody or with a girl, like, I'm a... Tr I'm not finna apologize to that girl. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna give her. I'm sorry. You're not gonna tell no, her you're sorry for her. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna, oh, gonna fix I'm gonna it. find a solution. Like, oh, I missed something. I'm not. A, I'm sorry. I missed your. No. All right. All right. Here's what. Tomorrow we. I, 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 like. You know what I'm saying? We're Bad. gonna. We're gonna fix it. Like. Yeah. I hate apologize. Don't apologize to me. Like when. Like I, when girls try to apologize to me, I be like, I don't need that. Like, I like. Ugh, what, is that, go, what does that do? Don't be sorry. Be careful. That don't be did. sorry. I hope. Be careful. Be nah, careful. Yeah, just, yeah. Like, if a dude did something dirty to you or something bad, not dirty, something bad to you, I feel like if he was to rectify with some something, I use the T-I word, rectify. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if he was to fix it, I feel like you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even be thinking about it no more. You'd be like, what am I mad at? Yeah, because it's done. It's nothing else to talk about. But let's let's find a solution. Let's be solution based. Like I hate like. Ugh. Okay, that's free game for the fellas. Yeah. Be solution based when you solution mess up. Solution based. Yeah. Solution based. Figure it out. But before you go, let's play a little backwoods trivia game. You know what I'm saying? Backwoods. See trivia. how much you know about. What you backwoods? know about backwoods? I know you a lot about backwoods. I know. I do. You know can how you roll? Do? I can roll too. Then you light skin and you can roll. I'm light skin and I what light skin people can't roll. I mean, you know, pretty girls. We y'all, you know, y'all got to do. Now, y'all got to do a lot. <laughs> you right. So y'all don't have to I do a lot. know how to roll, <laughs> but I do prefer <laughs> if whoever I'm smoking with roll up for me. Well, I know. That's just the pretty girl privilege. That's what I know. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into the game. So, how many flavors of backwoods are there? Oh my God. I think about, look at my nigga Faye. Like, all right, so they just added the song. I think about four or five. But, but then I went, to, I went to like London and they got a blueberry one, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, they be having different flavors. Nah, it's on blueberry. Exotic. But I think like, don't tell her the answer. It's the honey, it's the, it's the bourbon. It's the it's the bourbon. It's the the okay. It's the the yellow pack, brown pack, the Irish cream, the Russian cream. It's the uh, the smoke joint. So it's like four five. It's actually eighteen. Damn flavors of backwood. I right, so but, but I give you. But extra in America, in, a, in America, it's four five though. It's eighteen too. But I will give you credit for the flavors you just named because I was gonna ask you to name some of the flavor yeah. name five flavors. The yellow you pack, the that. brown pack, the black pack. But you actually said the name. You said Russian the honey. Cream. You said Russian cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like them too. They're my favorite. Song. I was gonna ask, what's your favorite? The honey. I love the honey. The Who honey said yeah. Russian cream? <laughs> like that Russian cream. It's some pretty girls over here. No homo. Hey. Yeah. Shout out to the backwood girls. Backwood girls. What's happening? All right, Jazzy. Well, we're not gonna hold you up. That was on the question you had. I, no, you answered all okay. three because I was gonna all ask right. you name five flavors. Oh, okay. You did that in the first right. one. And I was uh, going to ask you what flavor... Um, can I ask you a question? Absolutely. All right. What's your top three albums right now that you're listening to? Your Ooh, top three? Ooh, top three. Doja Cat. Ooh. On repeat. And Damn. I know how we feel about Doja Cat, uh, she's, but... She's amazing. She's amazing she am as an artist. She's a superstar. The beats superstar. are crazy. She's switching up the flow. She got she the, the lines, the bars. It's, um, that's I love how she treat her fans, too, because, like, she treat them Even like though shit. She's, yeah. But no, it's in, but them ain't her real fans. Like, the ones that really stay... When, like the ones when she lost like a million followers and shit, them them ain't her fans. Like she's she, mind she's control. So smart. She got mind control over Debo. She's so smart. 
I need this. What's up? It's Carlos Miller, and winter is here. So make sure you're keeping that fireplace warm this year with some Blue Chew. Blue Chew can increase your performance and give you that extra confidence in the bedroom. The process is simple. You just sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of the licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex, so go discover your options at BlueChew.com. Just chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use promo code 85LOUNGE at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85LOUNGE to receive your first month free. Visit Blue Chew for more important safety information and details. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. So you can turn up. That's exactly what it is, man. It's Blue Chew. You can make love to your lady for a long, long time. I've been telling you this for years. What are you waiting on? Shit with Doja one time. All right, so Doja, what else? Um, what was I listening to before that? I've been listening to, I've been back in my R&B bag, so I was definitely listening to the Diddy album, your EP. That's I've been right. having R&P, R&B kind of on re, um, and mix out right now. What's I your was, favorite song on my project? You know? Um... Yeah, I'm testing her ass. Y'all better catch this too. You yeah, know, she is. Oh, we gonna see if she really no. know my shit. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, Let me tell she, you. Oh, look at her, look at her phone. I'm finna go to my music. number two. She gonna say number two. No, I'm finna go number see. Number two, my favorite song. Cause you know how I got you star where like what you be playing the most. <laughs> I said I got I'm you, Bree. Yeah, Bree. Yeah, go pull it up, Bree. There she got me. Ah! Because it's the one. <laughs> What's the one on Diddy album though? It belongs to you. Her it belongs to you. Okay, okay, I'll take that. Yeah, that one. I had that one on repeat for sure. That's your shit. That's our. It's, I love it's, you. it's sexy. Thank you. Thank you. And that's what we need. I think I'm looking forward to music being back, sexy and catered to women, or just making you feel something. Okay. Not just negative. Cause after so while listening so for so long, listening to the same type of hip hop, you get bored a little bit. So that's what you think missing is you want sexy music. More sexy music gotcha. or feeling something. I want to know. If an artist, you know, artists used to rap about they mama. Yeah. Niggas don't even rap about they mama no more. They grandma. Yeah. Like, come on, what happened to oh, that? Yeah, I want to know. I want to know shit. something about you as an artist. I want to know what you feeling and what you going through. And I appreciate you guys for doing that, being, bringing that back to R and B. You know what oh, I mean? That's love. Okay, I'm glad you you just gave me a little free game of what women want. We in want music. that. I need that. We want to know the artist more on an intimate level, and we want to feel something, and not just always. Yeah. Fuck it. Nah, I got like, you. Like, it make it sexy, though. Yeah, because it belongs to you. I don't say nothing sexual in it. Yeah, but it's still, it's, but it's just how it makes you energy. feel. Yeah, it's the energy. It's love. All right, Shayla, shout it. Thank you. Yeah. Free game. Yeah, well, let me get a little drop before you get out of here. Um, yeah. You are sitting here at 85 South at Backwoods Backstage. It's your girl, Jazzy, and I'm chilling 85 South, Backwoods Backstage, One Music Fest, and we here, man. Yeah. <laughs>